Nearly 500 years ago, Virginia Dare became the first English child born in what would become America. She is an example of both triumph and tragedy as her name will likely have been lost in history except for the mystery surrounding her tragic disappearance along with the rest of the Roanoke colony. After centuries of exploration, settlement, and searching her fate is still a mystery. While her name is known to school children all across America as they learn about this puzzling part of our history. It all started in late 1586 and early 1587 when Queen Elizabeth sent 115 English settlers to North America to claim land for England. John White was elected governor of the colony. He was the captain of the ship known as the Hope Belt and led the colonists to the New World. John White was also the artist and the map maker of the expedition. After a few long months of sailing, the colonists finally reached the Roanoke Island in what would become known as North Carolina on July 22, 1587. The colonists had no trouble getting their forts established and began exploring the area. During the voyage, John White's daughter, Eleanor Dare, was pregnant. A month after the colonists had arrived, little Virginia Dare was born on August 18, 1587, to Anais and Eleanor Dare. It is unknown how Virginia's father died, but it seems to have been at some point during the sea voyage to the New World. Since John White was the artist and the map maker to the expedition, he made watercolor paintings of the scenery and native people they encountered on the island. John White, as the governor of the colony, decided to sail back to England to acquire supplies for the colony. While in England, White was detained by the war between Spain and England. As a result, it was three years before he could return to the Roanoke Island. When White and his crew finally arrived back at the colony, they found virtually nothing. The colony had disappeared without a trace. There are a few clues that we think the colony had left behind. The first clue was the word Croa carved into a nearby tree. The Croatoan was a local tribe that lived on the coast of North Carolina. John White encountered and knew the Croatoan leader, even painting a picture of Montel, the Native American leader. In an article by Indian Country Today, the author mentions that the settlers probably joined the Croatoan tribe after John White left. They likely left the message Croa so that John would know where to find the remaining settlers. The article mentions it was a message indicating the colonists had simply gone with Monteo to Hatteras, where the Croatoan tribe lived. If someone leaves you a note saying meet them at Burger King, why would you go to Wendy's? And when you understand this wonderful brotherhood that existed among these native and colonists right from the very start, along with the poor relationship that existed between the colonists and the mainland natives, it makes sense. The stones were found in 1937 by Ellie Hammond. The first stone is thought to be written by Eleanor Dare and was a message to her father, John White, telling him that she had lost her husband and her child, Virginia. This stone was thought to be authentic because the writing was aligned with the historical facts, the spelling was compatible with the writing of the time, and the tools to carve the stones was available to the colonists. Subsequent stones were never confirmed to be authentic, but told the story of Eleanor marrying a tribal leader and having another child that the tribe rejected. Archaeologists completed a tree ring study in 1998 and discovered that there were extreme drought conditions from 1587 to 1589, beginning the year that the White Expedition arrived on Roanoke Island. Scientists believe that this drought may have been severe enough that it contributed to the disappearance of the colony, either by death of the colonists or forcing the colonists to leave and join a native tribe in the area because they couldn't survive on their own. There is an anecdotal support for the theory that the colonists may have simply left and joined a nearby tribe. Several expeditions were later dispatched to try and discover what had happened to the colonists. These men later came across a tribe, likely the Lumbee tribe, that had children with red or blonde hair and blue or green eyes, leading historians to suspect that these children were descendants of the lost colonists. In current times, the Lumbee tribe of this region claimed to be descendants of the lost colony of the Roanoke Island. Virginia Dare went missing with the rest of the colony and her fate is still unknown. As a result, hundreds of years later, the name Virginia Dare is known by many people around the world.